Hello, my dearest WordPress lovers. In today's tutorial, we are going to make a BuzzFeed style quiz with the best WordPress quiz plugin in 22, so stay tuned. Quizzes are literally like some addictive habits and while many of those addictions are not good for us, quizzes on a country are on some level awarding and we all need to be awarded in some aspects of our life, for example safety, love, self-esteem and what do quizzes do in general? They give us predictions or facts about those aspects and we um, all of us try to get some new information about our characteristics, uh, about our life in general or even future in any way possible because we are curious creatures and quizzes are a great way to feed that hunger. I'm sure you have never thought about this but quizzes actually impact our behavior and to prove this point, I will bring this very simple example. Uh, when we pass, a, for example, a geography test and we know for a fact that we are not really good at geography or maybe you have done anything around geography while you were at school and now all of a sudden you get sensational results. And you realize that you have skills in geography or any knowledge and of course it will make you want to share your result with other people and it might, it might even make you speak around that topic whenever you have a chance and this proves the fact that it does impact on our behavior and as a quiz maker your only task is to achieve a positive outcome even if the results are not really in a good light. Finally, we've reached our hot topic which is BuzzFeed style quizzes. So there are hundreds and thousands of quizzes and why does BuzzFeed uh, get all the recognition? It's because their founder, Jonah Peretti, caught the idea of pairing quizzes with shareable content. So people were able to get through quizzes which had eye-catching headlines, interesting um, questions and very positive and good outcome. And in addition to that, they were able to share it uh, with their friends in their social media and what you get, you get hundreds of thousands of people flowing to your site daily. And that's the success behind BuzzFeed, um, BuzzFeed in general and BuzzFeed quizzes. And that's the greatest way to generate leads because uh, basically BuzzFeed took the concept of quizzes, seasoned it with sharing buttons and turned their marketing strat strategy into a real thing. Another thing to succeed in this field is to always stay up to date. And BuzzFeed is 16 years old and BuzzFeed still rocks it and is even more popular. And what you need to do is to stay up to date, to always play around the hot topics, movies that are popular among people and characters that are popular among people and headlines and also BuzzFeed season their um, blog with their website with blog where they write uh, content on nearly any subject so that's also a very wise uh, marketing strategy. 
Now let's see how do you create a BuzzFeed quiz. You might even be surprised if I say that it is a very easy uh, process if we speak about the technical part, the actual creation. All you need to do is to have a BuzzFeed account and to follow all the steps and to make questions, title, and add some images and GIFs and to publish it. However, I cannot tell you that everything will go so smoothly and easily because unfortunately uh, you need to go through details throughout making your quiz and details always matter. So for your quiz content, the first thing is the thing that catches the eyes of your quiz takers first, which is our title. So. For the title, always keep it short and sweet. Do not use figurative language. Um, it, sh it must be very easy to understand. And if you pay attention, BuzzFeed quizzes mostly have hilarious title. And they can write titles such as What pizza slice are you? And people get excited over it. And even if it's not really sensible, you still want to click on it. And it is recommended to write titles which, uh, with special questions such as which and what. And also it is very good to challenge people because our brains challenges us and tries to prove a point even to ourselves 24-7. We love challenges. And um, titles such as I bet uh, or trust me, I can guess your zodiac sign with your um, with these 10 questions is a very challenging and nice title to come up with and also we love telling stories we love talking about ourselves so uh, titles that show curiosity about our personality will work well such as I'm really curious what your funny best friend percentage is and so on so there is not really much to say about our next content, which is our questions. And of course, um, the obvious need is to keep it short, be far away from figurative language and try not to stuff your uh, quiz with words, but use images instead. Try to describe your question with images and people are visualized and visualized and uh, the content that is visualized always performs better and last but not least the results which is the key moment of any quiz because this is when your quiz taker actually decides whether or not to share the content and the important thing is to always stay positive and to concentrate your result on the positive side and if you pay attention uh, to for example buzzfeed quizzes you always get um, a wording result even if you turned out to be a horrible person or have a horrible personality it always presents in a joyful and fun way in a way that you actually enjoy being evil and that's the key part of any result now let's do um, an experiment on the results so that you can have better understanding on how important it is to have a well-written result. So I have passed three BuzzFeed quizzes. I will link, uh, leave the link of those quizzes down below. And um, here are the three of my results. If you read those results, uh, I have passed like which um, which flower you are and if we read those results let's let's read just a sentence right so you know how to appreciate the little things in your life you have you also have a killer smile that people spend all day thinking about it's it's very like complimenty it complements your soul and another one is um you may take a while to bloom but when you do, you can light up an entire room. For you to understand, I have tried to um, each time to pass the quiz as differently as I could. And again, a very positive outcome. And um, 
even if there is something like introverty, it still presents in a great way. And the third one is you are a white uh, carnation, you, you represent pure love and innocence and you care for people. Again, the result that just makes you want to share and like show people and it's very important and now also I have gone through a quiz uh, which and I tried my best to get like the worst possible result and um, here is my result which is considered to be bad but if I read it you you will not really think that it's bad because it's bad for yourself, like it's harmful to be that way for yourself, but it's not for others. So again, you would like to share this. So it says, um, you have the ability to analyze just about anyone except yourself. Again, something that is only harmful for yourself. So you are good with everyone else, analyzing everyone else but yourself. And you are always a shoulder to cry on. And that's like similar words written in here and you can see that the result doesn't really call you out for being for having bad personality trait but instead it shows some sympathy and points out some good traits that might uh, be great for others but harm yourself and um, it makes you feel accepted in some kind of way so there is a lot of psychological uh, thinking into the writing that they have done in these results so that's it now in order to not exhaust you with all this information about psychology and the psychology of BuzzFeed quizzes let's uh, make a quick BuzzFeed style quiz together and as we are a WordPress topic tutorial uh, channel I will bring up a very good alternative to BuzzFeed quizzes, a plugin, a WordPress plugin, which is called QuizMaker. It is currently the top quiz plugin. So if you are a WordPress lover, then you're probably then you probably know QuizMaker. And in order to make a BuzzFeed style quiz, you need to get its pro version. Um, you can go to their official website. It's acepro.com. I will link the I will leave the link down below. Um, you can also try out its uh, demo versions. It has a lot of functionalities and tools, and we will go through um, most of them. So, um, in order to start creating, you need to uh, download, install, purchase, and activate the plugin. And after that, uh, it will pop up on your dashboard. And the first thing that you need to do is to create uh, questions. Uh, so, to create questions, click on Add New and follow all the steps, remembering uh, the tips that I have told you um, earlier in this tutorial about the title and uh, uh, description and the questions of your quiz. And after that, uh, in the question section, you can write down as many questions as you want. And also you can write down as many answers as you want. Uh, people usually come up with up to four answers. And in order to make a BuzzFeed styled quiz, you need to set keywords to your uh, answers. So you can... Um, be uh, stuck with for example two keywords or four different keywords or three keywords it depends on the outcome that you want to get and there is a very a very tiny principle that you need to understand in order to come up with the most accurate result now when you are done with your question and with the keywords you have to go to quizzes click on add new and start creating your quiz you can follow the steps of quizmaker plugin itself there are hint buttons for each and every functionality but uh, let's pay attention to the result settings which is the most important part do not forget to tick the height score button so that there will not be shown any percentages or any scores and numbers 
and after that you have to scroll down and you will see intervals and in the intervals part you have to choose by keywords so that you can write messages to each of your keywords now let's understand what is the principle between um buzzfeed style quizzes which have uh, keywords so in order to make a quiz with an accurate outcome you have to think ahead which keyword is going to correspond to a certain characteristic let's put it even easier by using an example for example if you are making a personality quiz and you have two possible outcomes which is you are an extrovert and the second one is you are an introvert right so you have uh, to assign only two keywords um, let's take i for introvert and e for extrovert so always put uh, the keyword e to the answers which would be chosen by a potential extrovert, right? And always put keywords I to assign keywords I to the answers which would be chosen by a potential introvert. And when you come to this section where you already have to write messages, you have to assign um, the extrovert message to the keyword E and the introvert message to the keyword I and all the calculating and stuff of course the plugin does it for yourself and um, that's it about our keywords you are at the finish line of our tutorial and i'm very happy to see you right here and if you're here then make sure to subscribe and hit your notification bell before leaving also leave a like and comment because all your response and feedbacks are very important for us you can also write comments on um, the subjects that we can speak about in our channel and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video bye